Hello. This video provides information about creating a survey questionnaire in Developer Studio for progressive views. In this video, we'll cover all of the basics, right from the role of survey questionnaires in your product through getting the survey status. An application developer can create a survey questionnaire in Developer Studio. An administrator can then use the questionnaire to conduct any type of survey and to make a decision based on the responses received. For example, on the change request form in PWA, you can display the questions that are relevant to the risks involved with a change request. Users can respond to those questions. Depending on their answers, you can calculate the risks associated with that change request. As the first step, we'll use a system form called the Survey Component Definition Form. It displays the name of the survey configuration and the mappings for the question form, option form, and response form. These three are the custom forms. The survey component definition form stores the configuration for a survey. To add the configuration, we need the question form, option form, and response form. For this example, we've already created these three forms. We've added some fields to the survey question form. We'll use the company field for adding the qualification. Based on the qualification that we select during runtime, the questions and options for the survey questionnaire are displayed in PWA. Also, we've added some fields to the survey option form. Similarly, we've added some fields to the survey response form. Note that the entity ID is the field ID of the form that holds the record ID. The survey is associated with this record ID. On the survey component definition form, we've specified the configuration name as survey questionnaire. We've also added the mappings for the question form, option form, and response form. Moreover, We've mapped the respective fields available on these forms. Now, let's configure the survey questionnaire. We've created this form in progressive view and have added the survey component field onto the form. To add a survey component, just drag this field onto the form. Let's now set some properties for the survey component. For the component definition property, we need to select the record that we had created in survey component definition. Note that for the component definition property, We've specified the value as survey questionnaire. This is the survey name from the survey component definition form that we've seen earlier. Qualification field ID is the field ID from the current form, from which the survey picks the qualification. For now, we've given the company name, EMC Software. The company field is from the question form. Thus, the questions in the survey are filtered based on the company name. The parent entity ID field is used while the survey is in edit or view mode. Parent Entity ID is the field ID from the same form that holds the value of the parent record. The survey is associated with this parent record. For now, we've selected the Parent Entity ID for this Entity ID field. The value for the display as text property is true for the survey in view mode. However, it is false for the survey in create or edit mode. When we set the display as text property to true, the question font and answer font properties are visible in Developer Studio. We're done with the survey configuration. We've added several other fields on this form. We'll see these in action in a progressive view. We've also created several records in all the forms. Let's now see how our survey looks in a progressive view. We're now in the create survey mode. Let's click Load Survey to display the survey in Create mode, based on the qualification that we specified. To load the survey, we've used this run process with the survey field ID and an active link. Similarly, we've created active links for keyword mapping and function mapping. We're done. Let's view the survey in action. As soon as we select an option, we can see the current question ID and the current response in the respective fields. If we change the option, we can see the response to the previous question. When we answer all the questions in the survey and then click survey status, the value one is returned. But when we don't answer all the questions in the survey, the value zero is returned. In the edit and view mode, the survey is loaded in edit and view mode. This is based on the entity ID that we had specified as well as on the responses for the two questions. Let's now see what role the map get function plays here. If we copy the question ID to the map get key field and then click map get, 
The current question response is populated in the map get result field. Note that the current question response and the map get result are the same. In this video, we've covered all of the basics, including the role of survey questionnaires in your product and getting the survey status. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, see docs.bmc.com.